but you can't come in. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Come back tomorrow night. Come back tomorrow night.
started with a simple status. I was online when I saw my mate update his to feeling blessed with a smiley face, which aroused my suspicions right away. Now, I know that you're probably questioning why, but he's the moviest dude you've ever met in your life. I mean, this guy could make you or look you for it. So I knew something was up from the moment I saw it. I kept an eye on him for the next few days, and one by one, all the symptoms began to display. And instead of his typical cynical posts, he was now sharing those inspirational quotes. It was obvious what was occurring. We just had to wait for his status to confirm it. And the very next day, he updated it to say you guessed it in relationship. My mate's loved up, my mate's loved up, and now I can't wait till my mate shuts up. I'm not trying to hate, and I sure ain't bitter. But I don't need updates on Facebook and Twitter. My mate's loved up, my mate's loved up, and now I can't wait till my mate shuts up. I'm not trying to hate, and I sure ain't jealous. But keep it to yourself, cause you don't need to tell us. So now it's official, and he's spreading the word around. You'd have to be a hermit not to have heard by now, even when it's unrelated. Boy, by my new girlfriend into every conversation. Like, did you hear that celebrity's death? That reminds me of something hilarious that she said. So we smile and pretend that we care and reply, yeah, mate, you probably had to be there. This is the same guy, just to be clear. He's had the same profile pic the last five years and only just now has changed it to a photo of them both on some nauseating day trip. He never used to even go to the shop. Now she's taking him hiking on woodland rocks. Man, I thought you said nature was boring. Yeah, but she gave me a new appreciation for it. My mate's loved up, my mate's loved up and now I can't wait till my mate shuts up. I'm not trying to hate and I sure ain't bitter but I don't need updates on Facebook and Twitter. My mate's loved up, my mate's loved up and now I can't wait till my mate shuts up. I'm not trying to hate and I sure ain't jealous but keep it to yourself cause you don't need to tell us. It's been a whole week and he thinks that she's a keeper so inevitably now he wants me to meet her. But I don't feel like I need her. I know enough already I could write her entry on Wikipedia. But I agree and we go for a meal where predictably I feel as if I'm the third wheel while they stare lovingly into each other's eyes and nearly jump out my seat when the drinks arrive. Cause that's the only way that I can get through this while they sit and giggle like a pair of school kids. It's cute but it makes me want to vomit. They're not calling each other snookums yet but it's not far from it. But she's cool to be totally honest. I can't fault her and my mate is completely besotted. So as long as he's happy that's the main thing. He just wouldn't ever catch me acting like that. That's all I'm saying. My mate's loved up. My mate's loved up. And now I can't wait till my mate shuts up. I'm not trying to hate and I sure ain't jealous. But keep it to myself because you don't need to tell us. My mate's loved up. My mate's loved up. And now I can't wait till my mate shuts up. I'm not trying to hate and I sure ain't jealous. But maybe you should go a bit mate for it.
tried another approach. Who that inside? Who that outside? Who that inside? 